In this video, I am going to give you a very quick overlook of the difference between the PCI Express 4.0 with respect to its previous uh, 3.0 version and it's intended for not for the geeks for a general public and before I give into get into the details I wanted to give you a very quick overlook of what a processor based platform looks like uh, for example AMD Zen 2 Ryzen 3000 processor uh, there are similar platforms for Intel's as well for example Intel's most more recently most recent Tiger Lake processors uh, the previous version did not have PCI Express 4.0, so that is something new. It's a more recent phenomenon in like, like next six months or like well, next, last one month for the Intel. So AMD's Ryzen 7 3000, the typical architecture, it, the DDR RAM is hooked directly off it, which is a totally different thing. We are not going to talk about this. Now, out of the AMD Ryzen 3000, we have a non-volatile memory hooked directly to it using PCI Express 4.0 and then there are some other PCI Express lanes coming directly off, to, off it and we could have like graphics processors, graphics uh, cards hooked off it and then we have a chipset like a ch X570 chipset that is hooked on the PCI Express 4.0. Now out of this chipset then we have some more PCI Express 4.0 links, but there are other things, for example, USB and other things that we are not concerned about. The PCI Express 4.0 has a raw rate that there could be multiple lanes, unless we are talking about one single lane that transfers data at 16 gigabits per second. And the previous 3.0 has 8 gigabit per second. We are talking about a very raw signal rate. I mean, eventually you get less rate than this because of the overhead in electrical and uh, the software level, just to give you a very a broad over overview of it. And if you use, so that 16 gigabit per second translates to roughly 2 gigabytes per second or less than that. And in case of PCI 3.0, that will translate to less, slightly less than 1 gigabyte per second. And if you use the exact thing, the raw transfer data rate will be 1 gigabyte per second, the rate at which the electrical signals will be propagating. You could use 2 lanes, 4 lanes, 8 lanes and 16 late lanes and then the that will cause the multiplication factor. Basically we use instead of 2, 1 electrical lines, we use 2 electrical lines to double the transfer rate. And correspondingly, we, we can peak the data transfer rate, raw data transfer rate will be 32 gigabyte per second while it's really 16 gigabyte per second in case of PCI 3.0. But the PCI 4.0 has its own challenges on the silicon level, the processors, the chipset, the non-volatile memory that you'll be using or any other graphics board because that's going to take time. Uh, I think silicons are mostly up to the speed. They are coming up with now, started coming up with PCI Express 4.0. But there could be only, uh, the motherboard has its own challenges. The motherboard that's, uh, the traces that's connect, they need to use the special low loss material to be able to transfer this data without uh, getting errors in that lane. So this is the challenges, these are the challenges at the silicon level, at the motherboard level, and or at the platform level that takes time. Uh, if you move on to PCI Express 5.0, there are special levels I use and that again doubles this to 32 gigabits per second and that will start coming up in 2021 and then we have PCI Express 6.0 uh, again doubles this to like 64 gigabit per second uh, that we will talk about in detail sometimes later. But for now the, the first devices that are going to <coughs> take advantage of this speed is the non-volatile memory and the graphics card the one thing if you want to take make uh, take advantage of this make sure you not only get the Zen 2 processor of AMD or Tiger Lake from the Intel but you also select a motherboard that has this right chipset to take advantage of PCI Express 4.0 because if you use something like a 550 chipset from AMD that has older PCI Express 3.0 the motherboard will be cheaper 
but you will not get the full the uh, um, right speed the full speed of you will not be able to take advantage of PCI Express 4.0 so this is just to give you a quick update on PCI Express 4.0 versus 3.0 and I hope you get the got the value by seeing this video thanks for taking a look